Good afternoon, YouTube. On a beautiful getting out of work early on a Friday. Managed to dodge a little bit of rain today. When I went for work, there's nothing on the weather that indicated some rain. I got to work, it's a beautiful morning. Middle of the day, opened up, rained a little bit. Really, we wouldn't call it rain anywhere else. But in Arizona, if it's enough to get your car dirty, it's enough to call it rain. So it did, it rained a little bit. Bike doesn't look or feel the worst for it. And everything dried up before it was time for me to go home. So, perfect. Well, UPS driver, you come on then. So an interesting thing, on these ride homes like this in the afternoons, you know, I know that the sound of the valves will penetrate the helmet and will make its way into the microphone and the video's audio, uh, regardless of what it may even sound like to my ear, because when I play it back, a lot of times I'll hear what sounds like an aggressive six-year-old shaking a can of paint. But that's just my valves. And one of the other things that uh, that is important on these bikes is that the oil pumps are mechanical. And these little mechanical oil pumps, they actually don't move a, a large volume of oil. So to a certain degree, you really need to keep the RPMs up on a Royal Enfield, at least these older ones anyway. Really? So you need to keep the RPMs up on a Royal Enfield to a certain degree in order to help keep the motor cool. Keep that oil flowing at a higher rate, keep the motor cool. Of course, if you go too fast, then you'll be making more heat than the oil or the air could possibly dissipate. And, dissipate. and then, of course, you're, you're looking at ruining your motor. But we're not going to do that. So I only make mention of that uh, because I figure maybe sometimes when you guys are watching these videos, you'll hear that noise and you'll think, man, why does he not shift up? Why does he leave it wound up that tight? Well, that's why. Not only that, but being in the usable torque range is a, is a little safer way to ride around when you're in city traffic too, but I'm sure most of you know that, I'm trying to keep the torque range usable so if you have to dart and get somewhere quickly then you've got that power instantly without having to shift but really for me it's more about cooling it off and I know that sound is off-putting to some people I've even had other riders uh, riding near me feel off-put by it this will make comments like wow that just if that was my bike it wouldn't sound right and all I can say is that with my bike, if the soundtrack doesn't sound like a, it was filmed off of an old 8mm camera clicking and ticking away, then there's probably something wrong with the bike. <laughs> so, as some of you may remember, I had mentioned in a previous Moto Vlog that I was coming up with a design for a microphone that would better trap the audio of the bike itself. At this point, I've got the design more or less where I think it should be. So I figured, what better way to find folks to help me test market these things than to reach out to my uh, fellow moto vloggers, specifically those of you that follow me. So I was thinking about what would be the best way to test market this microphone system. Now, I'm not talking about what you're going to put in your helmet to speak into your camera. I figure if you're moto vlogging, you've already got a method for that. Specifically, what I'm talking about is running a second microphone to another audio collection source. That would be a recorder. And recording the sound of the motorcycle. And then you sort of blend the sound that you record there with your vocals so that when you play the video, it has a nice blended sound. You have 
strong audio when there's dialogue and you have a nice motorcycle sound in the background as well. So what I would like to do is to thank some of my subscribers, but more importantly is to <clears throat> find a subscriber or two or three or four that would like to help me with testing the system out. So here's what I need. I need, number one, someone that knows how to record audio. So if you're a moto vlogger, chances are you've got an inkling of how to do this. But you have a separate Olympus recorder, a Zoom recorder, or something like that. Uh, all you need is something that will accept a microphone plugging into it, a little 3.5 millimeter microphone adapter that will plug in. And of course you need a motorcycle. So what I'm looking for are several people who can test out these microphones for me. What I'd like to do is send it to you, absolutely free, you don't have to pay me for anything. I'm going to send you a microphone with a description, maybe even a private link to a video that I put up on YouTube on how to hook it up and where to place it on your motorcycle. And then let you do some recordings with it. You can do some recordings and you can post them uh, with, along with your moto vlogs or you can choose not to. Or you could just make some videos and maybe post them privately just so I can view them and assess the performance of the microphone. And you also have to be committed to give me some feedback on this. If I send you a microphone, you don't ever use it or it goes into a junk drawer, that's not going to help me a lot. So again, if, uh, if you would like for me to send you a microphone and you're committed to following through with the feedback and the information I'm going to need, I will need someone who can make videos using the microphone, um, someone that has an address they don't mind disclosing to me, and someone who is, again, committed to following through on making some videos and some vlogs. And uh, once you've done that and we've gotten the information we need, well, you can do whatever you want to with the microphone. You can keep it, you can trash it, you can take it apart and try to make it better. It'll be all yours. All I ask is that you help me do the research. So, I'm not going to make this difficult. If you're one of my subscribers that is dedicated to this, right now I have three microphones that I'm ready to send out. So, hit me up. You can hit me up in the comment box and then we'll, uh, we'll have a sidebar later on email. Or maybe even a Skype. I figured out how to use that. <laughs> and, uh, and we'll get together on it. So thank all you Vimoto vloggers, and I know I'm going to have some willing participants here, so hope to hear from you soon.